Grand Rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bromins Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, it's really good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, soul family. It's good to have you. Now, please get your drinks, get your tea, your snacks. You know how my reads go. I hope you've had a good day. Get yourself comfortable. I'm going to do my legal disclaimers just to get them out of the way. So a little bit of Palo Santo for you and for me, and let's crack on. Now, please know that I have to state that all of my readings, both personal and on YouTube, are for entertainment purposes only. Really, my readings are to give you confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. Um, if anything comes up that is shocking, it's confusing, it just doesn't ring a bell, it's not for you and that's okay, not all of them will be. Um, if it doesn't resonate, you do not have to take that story. Um, some parts of my readings may resonate, some parts may not. The bits that don't resonate for you are going to resonate for someone else. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you assign a gender, swap them around, get rid of them all together or leave them as they are. Uh, just don't make the story fit if it doesn't. If anything comes up in the areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health and it really resonates for your story, please ensure that you are gaining advice and guidance from those in those sectors that are professional, that are qualified before taking any advice from me. I've just realised I'm really out of breath and this is not my energy. So someone's running. Someone is running. Now the song that I had playing in my head and I feel like angsty. The song that I had playing in my head was by Scissor and it's Kill Bill um, and I'm going to put a trigger warning on this because I feel like this reading is going to be a little bit intense when it comes because if you know that song it's about somebody who is no longer you know they're broken up now they're not with their partner anymore and it's just them obsessing over their ex and then planning that they may want to unlive them so I'm going to put a trigger warning in right now if this is something that you feel will be too uncomfortable to watch or it may trigger I don't know um energies of things that may have happened to you in the past please lock off and don't watch this video um but i'm putting that there if you continue to watch it you're watching it at your own discretion um i've wrote down the just not all of it but quite a bit of the actual song so if you have never heard the song it goes i'm still a fan even though i was salty hate to see you with some other broad no you're happy hate to see you happy if i'm not dropped the one driving i'm so mature i'm so mature i'm so mature i got me a therapist to tell me there's other there's other men i don't want none i just want you if i can't have you no one should i might i, I might unalive my ex not the best idea his new girlfriend's next how did i get here i might unalive my ex i still love him though i'd rather be in jail than alone and then down at the bottom it says um the tech this the text's gonna be evidence this text is evidence i tried to rush him with you no unaliving no crime of passion i did all of this for us i did this on no drugs i did this all sober so that is quite a lot to take in right so again if you are still feeling that this may not be the kind of reading for you please lock off now okay um if you're still here it's because you are cool beans with whatever comes out now i feel like this is i don't know if this is your ex i feel more like this may be someone else is that is linked to you in some way now let me just ring my bell this is to cleanse the energy around me but i honestly feel from tapping into this par this paranoia someone's paranoid or someone is stressed it's almost like a deer that is get gets caught in the headlights and doesn't know what to do and they just freeze but let me just and let's find out what's going on i did it all for love and look you've got coughing coming out how apt right Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. I don't know if you can see that very well. So we have coughing coming out. So there's someone here that has moved away to have new, a new beginning. And um, I've been told to read this one. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand in gambling. So there's somebody here who has left a relationship and is moving away from them, but moving away from behaviour as well that kept them in drama. Um, and whoever it is that they've left behind is so upset or is, is losing their marbles a little bit that they have, they've had to go to therapy. Um, but it's not helping because you've got the snake here. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. And that was hidden upside down. And I want to know why, because I'm kind of getting that this is like someone who is looking at the collective with romantic eyes and it's their ex it's their third party 
Why are all my cards upside down? Let me take that one out. Okay, let me put that one back in actually. I feel like it is a third party. There's someone here. That's weird. It's weird energy. And it's just a bit at the bottom. I did this all for us. I did this on no drugs. I did this all sober. So I don't know if this person um, then has issues. Here you got, I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date, and not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation called or person boundaries and still angry. Okay, so whoever this person is definitely has romantic eyes for someone in the collective and wants to come forward, wants to date, wants to, I don't know, they want to move on with their life, right? Um, you've got the chaser that came out as well. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And that's upside down. So whoever this person is, is moving away from quite a toxic connection. Um, they are showing their feelings for someone else in the collective and they do not wish to take any calls. They may have blocked this person or changed their number. Avoiding a conversation call or person boundaries and still angry. They may have been angry over something that they did. The lies I heard, the lies. This person is a liar or this person is, I don't know if this person is like um, a compulsive liar. The person who is the energy of Kill Bill by Scissor. It's giving me the weird, it's giving me that energy of, um, it was in the news and I don't know if it was an old, because I saw it on YouTube as well, the woman who went on a date, like went on one date and then so, sent over 800 messages to this person within a day. Every day they were sending 800 messages to this person. They just became completely and utterly obsessed by this person. And when you see the interview with this lady, she's talking about like all of this spiritual stuff, like the number three, she kept seeing the number three everywhere. And you know, she kept seeing 333. And the reason why she ended up going on that date is because she saw 333 and she knew that this must be her twin flame and blah, blah, blah. And the way that she's talking is even faster than me. And you can tell that that person needs mental health support without a doubt. But they need it and they needed it 10 years ago because they've become dangerous and that's the energy that i'm getting of this scissor kill bill song um whoever it is that's moved away from them is not dealing with it they don't want to deal with them they're, they're setting healthy boundaries but i feel like this person has had to lie low so that that whoever their ex is doesn't know where they are and doesn't know who they're going towards. Now you've got I like you and coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. So whoever it is that's coming towards you or someone in the collective wants to go out for a coffee. This may be, listen, I've done so many readings, right? Where there has been somebody coming towards the collective, be that you or the person that you know. And this person is gonna tell you some truths some truths about stuff that's been going on in the background, whether that's with their mum or your family or rare tear tear, but they're not going to tell you the whole truth. I feel like part of what they're not going to tell you is that their ex is dangerous. They're dangerous. They are really dangerous. This person is very ungrounded as well. Very ungrounded. Very, very. So they want to come forward for a coffee. It's going to be some sort of, they're not going to try chatting you up. They're not going to try hitting on someone here. They are going to offer a friendship of some sort. Yeah, they want to speak to somebody who... Somebody who is copos mentos, I heard. Somebody who is not um, going to start talking about how the stars are aligned and blah, 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 blah. Let me pop this one here. And it's not that they don't dig spiritual stuff. It's just that their ex, obviously... I feel like their ex may need to take medication and they've stopped or something along those lines. And please know, I will never um, put a stigma on anyone that has has mental health issues. Um, if you have mental health issues, please make sure that you are getting the support that you need, that if you need to take medication, that you're taking the medication. If you need to speak to a therapist, that you're speaking to a therapist. Whatever it is that you need to do, please make sure you're doing so and know that no man is an island. Um, we all need support at times. So I'm, I'm not in any way saying this person's crazy and <laughs> no, 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 no. You have got twin flames in reverse. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So I don't, that's what I mean by this person here feeling like they are twin flames. And it's that energy of, um, if I can't have you, no one should. I might unalive my ex, not the best idea. His new girlfriend's next, how did I get here? So you have somebody coming forward that wants to date. 
and the X is kind of like, well, I'm coming up to chop you all up. Rotted. I shouldn't have used that language, sorry. But what on earth is, what is this? Wow, you got union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love and everlasting promise. So they may be, I don't know if they were married or if whoever this person is that's coming forward may want to marry you. Now, I don't know if they're coming towards you because they've seen you or if you're going to bump into each other. And it's just kind of that natural divine timing of two people coming together. I don't know yet. All right. Girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Having fun. Yeah, this is this is just kind of like meeting someone. Like a natural meeting of someone. What are the other ones? Butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. This is. This is a friendship. This is creating a friendship that turns into something more and it may end in marriage if that is something that you are looking for or something that you agree with with this person um but their ex is mentally unstable and that's something that we need to focus on to figure out why the universe is showing me this okay do you know what i wish i hadn't nominated my my um my cards because i literally just put them down and they just all splayed out on the table here yeah. Let's see. What do we need to know right now? Oh, okay. What's this one? It says here, that gift or parcel that was given to you by a third party, something they didn't need anymore, came to their address by accident. Get rid of it. It's hexed. Beauty products, art supplies, writing supplies, um, envelope, knife, pill box, scarf, hat, mitten, shoes. This X is going to send something... Um, they're trying to track down where this other person is. They're trying to, it's a masculine energy, but it doesn't mean it has to be a man, but it's a, yeah, look, you've got auto work. They're doing some sort of auto work on this masculine. It's like they want to track them. They want to track them and they want to find out who's this new girlfriend? Who's it going to be? Should I go to that event? What's this event? Don't take the too good to be true offer set up. Okay spell flopped it didn't work weak 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 no power asked for help and it still didn't work ha 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 and what else wanted to come out four card new beginning closing the door so this person coming forward you might meet this person at a work event or an event of some sort but they have their ex following them their ex is either stalking them following them doing some sort of spell work on them don't take that too good to be offer true. That too good to be true offer because it's a setup. There's some I don't know if you you might bump into their actual ex at this event and not even realise. Okay, the plot thickens. The plot thickens, and they may they may talk to you and be like, oh, so you know what are the things that you like doing? Blah 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 blah. And they, they tried, they've already tried. Root chakra, safety, security, finances, divine masculine energy, ambition, and Kundalini. So they, they do they know who you are? I heard yes. How do they know who you are? Okay, they've already tried to do some sort of auto work here. They tried doing auto work on this masculine and this time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. This could be one of your friends already. This could be one of your mates. Take it as it resonates. Okay. With that they tried as well, I'm putting it over here. This for someone can be an ex. It could be your ex, especially with wedding, ring, wedding rings being there. And then they tried. They may have tried to marry. They may have in, got engaged to you. This could be an ex-husband, ex-wife, someone wanting to get back with you. I don't know if this is new or old energy, as in I'm talking about relationships, so it's really up to you how that resonates. Um, but I will say that there is definitely an event that this person is watching Stranger Things upside down. Okay, okay, this person has very weird energy and they work with very weird energy. The upside down, if you have never watched Stranger Things, shame on you because it's so good. Um, no, I'm joking. The upside down is um, a mirror image of our world but it is in a dimension where everything is dark and withering but it's all connected together sentiently so if you step on one root that's on the floor you, 
all of a sudden you'll get wrapped around with, by loads of roots. So if you run off over there and hit another root, there's something that knows where you are and they track you and it's not a pl nice place to be. I feel like this person then works with a lot of low vibrational entities or energies. Um, learning the ways of the ancestors, start studying this upside down. I feel like this person, I don't feel like it is. I don't feel like they, they work with entities. I feel like they play with Ouija boards or they, they may be like someone who likes to watch uh, paranormal activity kind of films or watch ghost hunters, stuff like that. And I don't know if they have, um, they may have upside down crosses on their dresses or stuff like that. They wanna look really cool and kind of like, yeah, I'm satanic, but they don't have any, they have a very surface level understanding of energy, of um, sentient energy as well. Because demons or angels, they're all sentient energy, whether it is low vibrational and volatile or high vibrational and balanced, it's all sentient. Um, this person is calling in, I heard the storm, they're calling in weird energy, weird, weird energy. So they have an altar, they do have an altar. But I, when I say surface level, it's almost like when you go on um, TikTok and there is a, there's going to be like a little section for each topic, you know, or different themes. So you've got um, shift talk, which is people talking about how they shift into different realities. Um, you have, I think it's like furry talk or something like that for people that like to pretend they're the animals. Um, and you have witch talk and on witch talk you will find an array of either little gems of wisdom from people who have been practicing for a very very long time and they will talk to you about protection or this or that and then but most of it is just people who do they haven't researched enough they haven't protected themselves they haven't grounded themselves they haven't taken their time to to see if what god goddess energy entity whatever wants to work with them um and i say that from my own experience i am a practicing white witch i work with a multitude of different deities angels archangels um, ascendant masters i work with jesus you know um but there are certain energies they call to you you don't call to them you don't go i'm going to work with that one because that one looks cool it's got horns yeah you don't do that ish and i feel like this person is part of the witch talk of those who are doing it for the aesthetic and to go, I work with Satan, I know it's so cool, Look, at, like I said, my upside down cross, yeah. Bleh. When they're not realizing they're messing with really potent and volatile energies. And with that comes action and consequence. And this person is like, they're doing hexes without a doubt. They're doing hexes without, look, a shut up spell, is a is a hex, a freezer spell. And I don't care what other people say or other people are witches, they're like, I put someone in the freezer. Are you stupid? Why are you doing that? You understand that, that your energy that you put out is what you get back. If you're throwing people in the freezer and then you're wondering why, I don't know, your work isn't isn't taken off or you may be trying to get pregnant and it's not working or stuff like that isn't working because that's the kickback. Now this, and I'm, I'm sorry I had to put that out there because it winds me up. This person here is doing some sort of spell work, but then I think that part of like, their karma already is that they're very ungrounded, very ungrounded. Any type of manifestation, any type of um, spell work, any type of prayer, because prayer is like, um, I see prayer, and I remember another tarot reader saying this, and I completely agree with them, that prayer is white magic. It's white magic, of course it is, because prayer is like high vibrational love. You know, you're sending out blessings. When you do that, you have to be grounded. You can't have just had an argument with your partner and then go and go and pray because you're all over the shop. This person, whatever they're doing, they I feel like part of the reason why they're all, they're, I heard manic, they're, they're so all over the place, is because they're not grounding themselves and then they're connecting to something weird. And this person is now obsessed with their ex. Like, if I can't have you, then no one's going to have you. And I'm going to send weird stuff for you and I'm going to stalk you. And I'm just weirdness all round, right? You broke the cha chains, now they can't cage you. So whoever this ex is knows who you are. And I heard media, something about online. They know who you are. And they tried doing something, but you broke the chains to that and they can't cage you again. They may have tried doing something to your root chakra. To both of your root chakras. But it won't work. But now I want to know about, yeah, it didn't work. The, the spell flopped without a doubt. They 
you're doing altar work on the root chakra they may have tried to befriend someone here and they were also kind of like locked off and I apologize to anyone I apologize but I don't apologize to anyone that watches that is like emailing me going let's be friends I don't know you from Adam you get to see my face you get to see my mannerisms you get to see you know me doing all these I don't know you in any way shape or form it's different if someone's like this is my Facebook and this is all of my social media accounts everything on there come 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 and see my lives come and see but if you're like come we're gonna be friends I'm blocking you bro so this person may be a Leo in their shadow side they may be a Leo in their shadow side or well, this person that's gonna come forward may be a Leo and they're going to try and mess this up. Celtic deities, they may be using Celtic deities. Whoever is reaching out that you should, you, one minute, I don't even know my own writing. Whoever is reaching out that you haven't spoken to in a while, snake, I'm telling you. So this is, oh, this is why they know you. Because you've know, you know them. Stop it. Okay, okay, this now makes sense. That's why I was getting this connection to past, like it may have been someone that you were married to or someone that you were, you've dated. No, this is someone that you know, and they've gone after one of, they haven't gone after your ex, who have they gone after? One second, getting myself in a little tizzy here. All right, let's put that down. I've just got a song going through my head. I'm so mature, I'm so mature, I'm so mature. I have even got a therapist. And I'm like, I'm like my ex. My first idea. Lovers and friends has come out. And forbidden fruit has come out as well. All root chakra energy. I'm not going to be able to show you much of both of these because they're all a little bit spicy, to be quite honest. I think I'm allowed to show a bra. I'm not sure. So you've got forbidden fruit and then you've got lovers and friends. So if this is someone that you have known from the past, this may be somebody who had feelings for you. No, their feelings were jealousy. Their feelings were jealousy. This person's been sending distorted um, sensual energy. It's root chakra distorted sensual energy because the bottom part of this woman's body, all you can see is like her boobs and then like her stomach and her hips. And as her hips go in like that, where her private parts are, there's a big apple, a big red apple. And then you have red going through all of this one as well. So this person... Um, you broke some sort of, they've been sending distorted energy, but you broke the chain on something. Because if they were sending something to wound you or to beguile you to do something to your root chakra, instead it helped someone here to heal a wound within their root chakra. And that's why it didn't work. And that's why someone broke the chains on this. Anything else I should know about this? Ancestors and magical moments, silent cries. Someone here is very upset that holding on someone here is holding on why am i getting like ancestors coming through though oh i was gonna say shiver me timbers but shut the front door someone's ancestor here has been going over to this person this person does use a ouija board they use something weird right and they may have tried to conjure up someone else's ancestor to get like the tea on them to get some sort of information on um, their weaknesses I heard and whoever because th that's graveyard magic that's graveyard magic because there's a difference between you know um, I'm a medium and sometimes I will have um, private readings where people ask me to contact certain people and I don't work like that I, w I will call them if they want to come they can come but usually it's whoever whoever it is that's passed over that you need to hear that message from is the person that's going to come through now that is just going I'm picking up the phone, hello, I'm calling the number, do you want to pick up? That's free will on the other side, whether they want to pick up on talk. Using a Ouija board and then pulling up someone's ancestor, that is, I'm doing it without your permission. I'm crossing boundaries. You come here, over here, give me information. That's disrespectful, right? So you've got magical moments, ancestors, and then holding on. So, and then underneath that, you've got the last laugh. This person has a personal vendetta. Whoever it is that they have um, been, they've been dumped by, this person's ghosted them because of them just being so erratic. And the thing is as well as mental health, mental health issues can be really draining on the person that has the mental health issues, but also on their loved ones that are trying to support them, especially if they're not taking the medication or they're not, they're not um, accepting the support that they need. 
and I can say that from personal experience, not from me, but from family members and so on and so forth. And it becomes very, very draining. It can become very, very traumatic for the person who's trying to support someone who refuses to get support, if that makes sense. They tried pulling up someone's ancestor and I heard whoever it is that's coming towards you and yours, because ancestors come out here, but it's got an ankh on there. This may have been someone's Egyptian ancestry. The four card, new beginning and closing the door. So they wanted information on how to have a new beginning, how to close the door, how to mess up someone's Kundalini rising, how to mess up someone's finances, how to make someone feel um, unsafe. Because remember at the start I was saying that I could feel like paranoia or stress or worry, and it's coming from them. They were trying to find out how to make someone feel unsafe to someone who had moved on and left them that wasn't interested, that wasn't telling them who it was that they were looking at, they pulled up this ancestor, they knew, they pulled up this, this person's ancestor, whoever it is that left them, and their, I don't know if their ancestor told them. I, I heard, yeah, yeah, they did. It's like they were rubbing something in this person's face, but they stayed. They've been messing with someone here like your ancestors or, or whoever it is that's left them, ancestors don't play about. Like how dare you? Magical moments is upside down. This is almost like psychic attack or um, nightmares or just not being able to control astrally where you go in the astral realm because there are so many different dimensions. You don't want to go to the lower ones. When I was a kid, I used to astral, astrally project. I didn't realise that I was. And um, I had no... Di I had no um control over where i went and sometimes i didn't go to the greatest of places um and now of course i can i can now um i can now direct where i want to go but when you go to places that are lower vibrational or lower dimensions you don't know what you're going to bring back now didn't we have a card coming out saying um the upside down place i feel like this person has locked themselves in there or they've got something holding on because they've been holding on because look this this woman here or this man or whoever the he she they they're holding on to someone's heart at like times running out and they're holding on to it holding on to it they try to do something to this masculine's heart so they may have tried to send an unaliving spell they've tried lots of stuff lots and lots and lots of stuff and it didn't work and they're running out of time and the last laugh. They thought they were going to get the last laugh. This was their revenge. But we're talking about ancestors. The ancestors are kind of flipped this on someone. They flipped this on someone. So this person may have heart issues. Because you've got silent cries coming out here. This person is heartbroken. But they weren't able to control something. And they thought that they'd be able to. Let me see. What's it say here? I want you in my arms. Yeah, this person is very, very obsessed. Very obsessed. They may try to make some sort of dramatic... They're going to try and cause some sort of drama at this event. And this event, I don't know if this... I don't... Again, I don't know why I keep saying a work event. If this is a work event or a creative event. It's almost like when you're a kid and you get to, um, you get to go to... What is it? The job something convention when you're a certain age, like I can remember being about, what was it, 15 or something, just before I'd done my um, exams. And they take you to like, um, it's work experience. It's like a work experience expose thing. And you, I remember there was the Marines there, there were police, there were all these different types of like stores that were popped up and you could go and talk to them and, you know, ask them about their jobs and blah, 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 and have a good chat. I don't know if it's something like that, but for adults if that makes sense i'll be with you soon i promise and it's upside down so there okay there's a specific ancestor a specific ancestor that they're trying to block you from communicating with why 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 are they trying to block i won't leave you again because this person is, I feel like whoever this ancestor is, maybe the one that gives you the heads up, they may, I don't know who's got clear cognizance here, but you know when you just, you just know something, or when you get that little aha, it's your, there's an ancestor here that comes and whispers in your ear, or just 
throws down that little download for you. And they're trying to block this. They've been trying to block this. Why, why, why? And closer than you think is upside down. Because they don't want you knowing what their next step is. They don't want you knowing what their next step is. And whoever's reaching, whoever, ha whoever hasn't reached out for a while, they are a snake. And they, they want someone here to think that they are what? What do they want the collective to think? Realign your thoughts on new beginnings. So close. This person has been sending some sort of intrusive thoughts to someone in the collective and they want someone to, they want that person to think that that's, that's their own thoughts. There's something about sabotaging this new friendship coming in, this new friendship that will turn into wedding rings for someone that is, you know, it's evenly yoked. Um, I don't know if this is somebody who doesn't have children or they don't want any more children or maybe you don't want children. Um, Realign your thoughts. Okay, this person is finding it hard to get into someone's energy. I heard they watch you all the time. Does someone have like a podcast? Or I don't know. There's something about social media. Our separation is ending. I need to be alone right now. This is to do with the intrusive thoughts. This, I need to be alone right now. They want somebody in their thoughts. I'll be with you soon, I promise, and it's upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to um, not only separate this ancestor, but I think it's making someone worry about being able to trust someone new coming into their life. Um, I am certain our union will happen, and it's upside down. Where do you want me to put this? Our separation is ending. I want you in my arms. This person is very weird. They have very weird energy. Again, it's going back to that woman at the start who um, was arrested for 800 messages in a day. It's wild. That is, can you imagine going on one day and then the person texts you 800 messages in a day? How many would that be in an hour? I don't even want to do them. I'm not doing the maths, but... That is flipping wild, and that's the energy this person has. They have, without a doubt. Top, okay. Transition, and five of pentacles upside down. Tell me about this, please. We've got here the six of wands. This person is, they, can, they keep doing something over and over and over. They're using Celtic deities to try and bind something and they think that they're going to be successful and then they're moving towards something here. Oh, they're working with someone new or they're working with a different um, deity because the other one didn't, it didn't work properly. Because this brings me back to this person being very surface level with the way that they practice. Anyone that, you know, claims to be a witch and they don't boast about what it is that they do. You know that they take it very seriously. And that's irrespective if someone is a dark witch, a grey witch or a white witch, you know. Um, those who are, I don't know if this is the type of person that would do their own TikToks about the spells that they're doing. Um, they're, I've got a very immature energy coming from this person. It doesn't mean that they're young. They just have a very immature grasp on life. They want everything already. They want it already. They want it yesterday. Now this being the sixth, the sixth of cups. Why do you say the sixth house? Realign your thoughts. Tell me more. Five of cups has come out. Okay, this person's just obsessed. Can you tell me anything else that I need to know about who, who it is that moved away from them? Who moved away from them? It's judgment in reverse. This person, that's karmic. It's a karmic relationship. This person was learning karma. They thought that they were going to have a happy family with this person. You've also got the ten of um, coins coming out, so maybe they were the provider. Why are you showing me this? What else do we need to know about this? Tell me about the event, actually. What's this event, please? What is the event? Page of Swords and the Moon. Misinformation misinformation what's the misinformation about king of 
the Knight of Cups upside down. Is this like speed dating or something? I feel like it is either, especially if wedding rings coming out, I don't know if the event is actually being invited to someone's wedding or someone's baby shower or like, or the hen party or stack party, it's something along those lines. But with the Knight of Cups in reverse to the Page of Swords, there is um, animosity. Oh, shiver me timbers. They may be part of like the hen do, or they could be like one of the bridesmaids in this wedding. Oh, because you've got family coming out here with the moon, right? The moon rules over Cancer, which is your fourth house also. There is um, a family that they don't there's there's something they've been told i don't know what this person has been telling their family about you or about who it is that has walked away from them but it's been done over control they want to control um the outcome they want to control how they are seen they want to be seen as the victim this person walked away from me when i need to support them most it is giving me narcissistic vibes of kind of sit here and listen to me but don't give me advice and that came out in one of my other readings because I just want to drain you of your energy of your time of your love of your money but I don't actually want to do anything with that and just fill myself up and my ego up but this knight of cups in reverse to the page of swords this is a lie a lie within a family to keep control keep face so something may pop off at this event what's going to pop off at this event let's see What's popping off at this event? Taurus, slow, steady and capable. It's going to be about like money and work. Money and work. It's money and work. Capricorn in the 10th house and Taurus. So if you meet this person at the wedding or at this baby shower or something along those lines, it's almost like this person has to go to this event and they know that their ex is going to be there but they don't want to be around their ex because their ex is drama, their ex is not well and their ex could be dangerous. And this event you guys are going to meet there's going to be like mutual feelings for each other um but time with friends moving on happy single you may be invited by a friend to go to this it can be abroad i heard and this person's going to lose their ish when they see you two together they're going to just assume that right, that's that's so and so's girlfriend that's so and so's boyfriend now right and in their head they're doing like an american psycho you know where like he's just imagining that's the thing with American Psycho, like there was a debate that, you know, that film, that character, he did all of those things. He went around putting on like, you know, plastic down on the floor, axe chopping everyone. And then there was debate that no, that was all in his head. It was literally all in his flipping head. He actually didn't do that. Because at the end, he's like, I want to, you know, give myself up. Um, and I feel like this person is all in their head, but I don't know which one is worse somebody who thinks that they've done all of that and then they're going to go out and do it or somebody who just does it i think they're both just cold and scary right this person stay away from this person like really check with your energy and i mean reading your energy when you meet people um because we all have a third eye we all have intuition and we can always tell when someone is off or if someone is lying or someone is being false um i heard this person's going to make your skin crawl when you meet them it's gonna make your skin crawl. So this person, I don't know if this person is in competition with you. If they already know you from the past, they may be in competition with you because their ex doesn't want them and they want you. I don't know if this person, I'm getting like, um, this person dated them in the first place because they thought it would annoy you, but you didn't even know. You're like, what? what? It, I don't know if you're speaking to this person anymore. The placement of the moon in your birth chart will reveal a lot about your habits, reactions, instincts, and how you express your emotions. They were doing things to try and press buttons. It's, that's what I mean by it being weird, because you may have not even known that they were doing this. Because meeting their ex, um, there's going to be no kind of recollection of, oh, you were going out with so-and-so. Because mm -mm. this person who is reaching, who's going to reach out to you, you haven't spoken to a while, in a while, I don't know what they're weird this energy is very weird i'm not understanding and i have uranus come out when a uranus is in your birth chart 
when where Uranus is in your birth chart helps you understand sudden changes or shifts in your personal life as well as in the world. Now we just had the moon card come out as well. This person is going to have a massive wobbler at this wedding. They may try to fight the ex. They may try to, I don't know, they're trying to throw drink in someone's face or something along those lines and they're going to be escorted out. Those born on the Pisces are soulful, intuitive and empathic. Empathetic. They are prone to experiencing conflicting desires and are changeable because they feel so deeply. Now, I don't know if that is this Leo, if this person actually is just a, a Pisces. You've got Leo underneath as well. They may... Um, there's something here like a knee-jerk reaction is to help them or to move away from them. I can't tell. It's going to be drama. I really need to know. Please, thank you. Virgos coming out. Intellect, intelligent, shy and reserved. So whoever it is that you meet at this wedding or at this baby shower, whatever that may be, this event, is going to be very shy. They're very intelligent and they are reserved, which is why it's not kind of that how you doing. Do you want to go out on a date? It's more a uh, let's let's feel the waters of each other, of you know where our boundaries are. I feel like if they're coming out of a relationship like that, I'm not surprised that they don't want to throw themselves straight back in again. And with this Virgo coming out, the knee-jerk reaction when that person starts wiling out is to literally run and hide. So they may grab you and run away, you know, or be like, let's dip, let's get out of here. Quick, quick, quick. I hope before the police are called. Uh, and this this is just telling you all the different um, zodiacs, the zodiac signs, which ones are fire, which ones are earth, which ones are air. And then you have over here, your sun sign describes your zodiac personality and your moon sign represents your emotional or inner self i feel like there's someone here has been reading they've been doing a lot of reading they've been doing a lot of reading on someone's birth chart here and analyzing it and what's the shock what's the shocking reveal though because i've put this down with the last laugh and holding on this person wanted to have i feel like this at this event it would have made no difference if you had met this met their ex there or if this person was talking to a wall, their ex would still have been made made a drama out of it. Why are you talking to that wall? Why are you looking at that wall like that? Oh, what do you fancy that wall? Are you going out? Is that is that your girlfriend now? Is that your husband? Is that it's that type of energy of it would make no difference if this person didn't turn up to this event. They would still find a way to make themselves the centre of attention in being a victim victim because of what their ex has done, more or less. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. Let's see. Look, it says marriage. So this is a wedding. This is someone's wedding. Without a doubt, this is someone's wedding. What else do we need to know? Change. How are they going to try and mess up the wedding? There's something here about them. They have to be the centre of attention. It's almost like when you see in those like old 90s to 2000s rom-coms and... Um, the person will, there'll be two people and they're about to get married and then the dude or the woman runs in and, you know, they say, if anyone has any issues, you know, please speak your truth or, or hold it forever or whatever. And there's always that one person that runs in the lake, late, oh my gosh, I love you, Max, or I love you, June, or I love you, so-and-so. And the person who's about to get married to someone else goes, well, must be for me, leaves the wedding and runs off with the person. It's like, that's not reality. But this person, they have that in their head. Like, I'm going to make this scene. I'm going to get him back. But at the same time, they want to embarrass this person. They want to embarrass them. They want to put them down a couple of pegs and they want them back. And I want it to go back to how it was before where, you know, you gave me all your time and all your emotion. And, all, 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 all. and you've got courtship here. So I don't know. It says child in reverse. Either they dated for a very long time from when they were kids or they may have had a child together. They may have a child together, and I heard their child may have been taken away because of this person, um, and it's too much for this other person, and that's why they left. They were like, oh, I don't want anything to do with you. And courtship here, they're, this new person may be looking to date someone that doesn't have a small child because they don't want to go through that again. Expectation, yeah distant horizon so this is happening soon you know oh so she was also she he or they were also trying to send something to someone's health their sixth house that's why it came out before but they're a false person they are a false person courthouse mm. what else wants to come out 
Use your words. Someone's power comes from their voice. It comes from their throat chakra. And this is the reason why this spell flopped. But I feel like this person has a lot of decorations in their house. Like they have Baphomet and they have... Um, I, keep, I don't know why I keep saying up there, upside down crosses. And paranormal activity. Something's happening in their home. Something's happening in their home because their spell flopped. I feel like this person would literally soil themselves and then pass away if they actually had Baphomet or Satan or whatever energies that they're there with their little altar, with their, their little magic wand, you know, here's an offering for you. If it actually was to visualize in front of them, they would literally poop themselves and then just be gone. That's the energy that I'm getting. I don't know why that keeps coming up. New moon, time is right for seeking new opportunities. Use your words. I feel, I heard you blew them out of the water or someone here blew them out of the water with your words or with your prayer, with your white magic. Mull it over. Time is right for you seeking new opportunities. What do you have to mull over though? What needs to be mulled over? Let me see. What needs to be mulled over? Staying the course. Ah, okay. So this is really um, when this comes up, because I don't know, you might meet this person who is really lovely that you get on with at this wedding, or it could be that you are dating this person for a while and then you're both invited to a wedding and this is when it happens. But you're being asked as well whether or not you are going to want to stay in this relationship because of the craziness that's happening in the past, that this person that wants to hold on, or whether you're going to go separate ways because you don't want the drama i think that's what it comes to, down to to be quite honest look you got when organizing like for like upside down and every breath can be a new beginning that person is flipping delulu and they need m medical mental support and they they need a restraining order whoever the ex is needs to get a restraining order and i heard they already have wow we find a little divinity in yourself so someone might want to call on angels I feel like I'm going to leave it there. I think that's that's more or less all I need to get out at the moment. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity and that you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, so family, hearts, kisses, you guys are very, very awesome. Thank you to everyone who has been donating to the GoFundMe that I have linked down below. It is for a really beautiful and heartwarming um, cause it's not for me it is for locus dog and cat care rescue in sri lanka in the east coast it is the only shelter that is there that's available for any of the street dogs and the population of street dogs is just wild it's out of control um no one's neutering them and their little fur babies their little um sentient beings that dream and feel scared and feel happy and do you know what i mean and they are just left by the wayside and I say this in every single one of my readings because it's true. If, if they get hit by a tuk-tuk, and that happens a lot, a lot more than you think it does, they are, it's really up to the god, up to the gods. It's up, it's up to Allah, Vishnu, and oneness of all, whether or not they survive. And if they do, they are usually very, very um, crippled. They, are, they become very disabled, and it's really a survival of the fittest out there. A lot of them do perish. Um, I was going to say something else. It's, ah, that's because, you know what, a lot of the coastline kind of um, layout when it comes to driving is very curvy, going around a lot of, like, curves, in other words. And in when you come out of, like, a main city like Colombo, you're not going to see a traffic light. I've been there so many times. You're not going to see a traffic light. And it really is playing Russian roulette whether or not um, a bus is going to knock into the back of you. I had um, a friend of my sister's then husband break both of his legs because he was on a motorbike or a moped and he didn't move out of the way in time quick enough because the bus is just they just barrel through there's literally no brakes on it if you're in the way you get knocked over and he didn't get out of the way in time and the bus run him over and he broke both of his legs that is how wild it is um so these animals especially when it comes to turk turks they get hit by them a lot a lot a lot um, the money that we have raised so far, before I waffle on, we were aiming for £400 and we have raised together £10,000, which is phenomenal. 
thank you so much. It has come at such a timely manner because Connie Horchen, who um, is the founder of this um, of this rescue centre, uh, she's put all her money into it, and they are they are so in this in so much debt. They have so many animals that need to have operations that can be flown into other countries to have a better um, opportunity to be adopted. Um, and now they can do those things. So your money is a blessing. It's an absolute blessing. Anyone that is interested and would like to add to the funds, because I'm going to keep it open for as long as possible. I think it's a beautiful cause. And I don't want to go, you know, well, we've done that now. Now we can go to something else. I think I'm just going to have it there. And those that wish to, um, if you have a look down below all of the, um, if sometimes I put in channeled songs with a link underneath that, you will see um, different um, meditation links as well. If you go just underneath that, you will find Loku's Dog and Cat Care. There is the GoFundMe, there is a website for them, there is a Facebook site as well, so you can have a look through all of that. And if you would like to then donate, you can. If you can't afford to, I understand. Um, if you could just share it with as many people, as many people as far and wide, because the more people that we share this with, the further that, that awareness gets out and the more the love comes back. Um, with that being said, and I have talked for a very long time and now my, my voice and my throat is very dry, um, I'm going to leave it there. Please do not get scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. Um, but I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for helping my channel grow. I really appreciate you. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for just being you and being awesome. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Eep.